Okay, so here we are, part five of Python Turtles, and this time we're going to actually use an if statement to actually make a decision within the program. Uh, if you don't know what an if statement is by that this point, uh, an if statement is basically a branch in the code, and if set up properly, you can actually decide which pieces of code to run based upon certain conditions being met. So, in order to do this, I don't need this print side and all of this because we're done with that now. And because I want a bit more control, I'm going to just set this distance to 25. I don't want the random, everything else is fine random, but I need that to be a bit more stable. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put in an if statement. And we're going to talk to Alex's X core. And we're going to ask it whether or not it's greater than 10 as we go along. And this is basically, if you imagine that the the grid that the turtle moves on, right slap bang in the center of that is 0, 0, 0, x, 0, y. Okay, so what I'm going to do is when Alex goes greater than 10 on the x, I'm going to just say Alex has gone too far. Now, let's run that and you should see what we mean by that. And as you can see, Alex went along because we're still using random number of terms and degrees and during that actual process he's gone too far he's gone beyond 10 pixels I'll run it again and let's see if we get a different result okay should be a bit better because he's doing a bit more and as you can see Alex is going too far he's actually every so often going past 10 positive pixels uh, we could even change that to a negative 10 so that this time it'll register if he goes backwards the other side negative too far which is doing quite a lot on this one okay and that's how simple that is that's using an if statement but we're not done yet okay okay i'm going to say so basically he's gone too far forward if it's the x core and then i'm going to add into this an elif now an elif is just like an if it's just like if if Alex's x score is greater than 10, he'll say it's gone too far forward. However, if that isn't happening, Ellie, if the y core is greater than 10, we can make it say something different. And we could also do multiple Ellie's to actually give other alternatives. Okay, and um, there we go. We should now be able to run this. Now, it's either going to run the if or the elif. It cannot run both. It's impossible. It's just not possible within the parameters of the code. I'll run that again because we want a better output than that one. Okay, so Alex goes too far forward, too far up, too far up. And as you can see, it will It'll only ever say forward or up. Now, that's not actually accurate because sometimes Alex is going too far up and too far forward. He's actually going wrong in both directions. So how do we actually solve this? Well, the good thing is about um, any programming languages, most of them are quite happy to use Boolean logic. So that's the things like using the words, keywords, and, or, not. Now, I'll show you how this works. What we do is we're basically linking these two statements together. And there we go. So Alex has gone too far forward and up. Basically, if he crosses x greater than 10 and y greater than 10, He's basically gone out of the little square that we've defined for it. Um, what I'll do here is I'm going to do this one as negatives so that we're basically building a box which is minus 10 to 10 and then minus 10 to 10 down. Okay, doesn't matter which way you put the x cores in either, the x and y core, it's not absolute as long as they're in there. Oh, done a bit of long, wrong logic there because obviously if we're heading to the mi minuses it needs to be less than otherwise it's always going to trigger 
back and down. Okay, always a bit confusing when you're dealing with negatives to make sure that obviously it's it's within the boundaries. Okay, helps forget my syntax, right? And actually add my Boolean logic, right? Okay, here we go, watch this. So, this one is a nice tight pattern and does not seem to be triggering, and that's because it must just about be always within 10 in every direction. Let's see if I can get a proper little trigger here for them. There we go, okay. So every so often it goes too far forward and up. Every so often it's just outside. Okay. Now, I'm gonna increase this distance to 50 because this should pretty much guarantee as it turns there we go forward and up forward and up forward and up uh, you can see that it never quite triggers the other statement because it never drops down below the zero there we go it's gone too far back and down and again that's because the angle the degree turn and everything is forcing it downwards okay so that's how you actually sort of try and create this kind of if statement this kind of do this or do that but don't do both and how to actually start using your own little parts of boolean logic now just for fun why don't you see what happens you alone if you change those to or because actually something different will happen i would really like you to explore that rather than tell you okay if you like what i'm doing here don't forget to like and subscribe and any comments for what you'd like me to, to actually do with turtles using this kind of logic would be fantastic. Thanks for listening.